Tech, tech, technology. So self-driving cars, it seems, are really, really coming. They really are. When Google showed their prototypes a few years back, I was thrilled, but not convinced. Too many times we've seen technology like this where they develop it and show it off and then shelve it for too many reasons. The biggest one is, in this case, they have to be better than a human being in every case. Sure, if you could get a chauffeur for life for five grand, you'd hire him. But, uh, you know, you can't do it with a car. Even though it'll make fewer mistakes than a human being would, it has to be perfect. So Tesla has rolled out their little autopilot. Uh, Acura has a similar autopilot. Um, and Nissan is still committed to having their fully autonomous by 2020. Cadillac will have uh, a version of autopilot, a, a highway, uh, you know, lane assist, all that. Uh, next year, this year, it's 2016. So I'm finally convinced this is going to happen. And I'm convinced because it's not just Google working on it anymore, it's everybody. And I tell you, man, this is gonna change everything. Driving will get so much safer, so much less stressful, just plain better. We take the same route to work every day, regardless of whether or not there's an accident. If you set your car and tell it where to take you, you might find it getting off at a different exit because it knows traffic is destroyed up ahead. Great, great, that makes it better for everybody. And, you know, the big thing is, it'll also mean there are newer cars on the road. If you've got a check engine light on, I bet you your self-driving car will not let you continue self-driving the way it would otherwise. Newer, more up to date, you know, I have a Chevy, which means, and it's an older Chevy, which means I'm on a first name basis with my mechanic. Yes, Brandon, I know you well. I have put almost as much money into repairs as I paid for the damn car in the first place. And I need to take it back in because the heat don't work. You know what it's like trying to clear your windshield when your heat don't work? Oh my gosh, it's great. Yesterday, I had to scrape my windshield on the inside. <sighs> Good times. But no, it's going to be it's going to be a game changer. The blind will be able to get around. I think parking lots are going to have to be reimagined. Because now, you don't need to spend all your time looking for a parking spot. You pull up, you hop out, your car goes and parks itself which means you can have uglier, more inconvenient parking lots because nobody's really gonna be using them, not in the way they are now, not with door access being critical. But what you are gonna have is a big jam at the front door where everyone's trying to get in and out of their cars. It's like a big, <clears throat> it's like a big taxi queue, but with absolute chaos. That's something that hasn't really been addressed yet. And it'll be interesting. Maybe they'll have have to put in like a double lane of queuing for people. Think what Walmart would look like on Black Friday, which is Black Thursday, of course, with everybody trying to get in and out of their car at the front door, with everyone trying to load their car with all their stuff at the front door. On the plus side, you wouldn't have to have the cart returns out at the, you know, a half mile away, but parking lots are going to have to be they're going to have to be reimagined. And that's great because that's going to create jobs too. And since it's going to take 20 years to phase in self-driving cars, it's going to take a lot of steps. They can't just do it all at once. It's not going to be overnight. I mean, we're talking jobs. Of course, we'll get self-driving steamrollers and asphalt layers. But again, that's a whole new industry. We'll We'll figure that out. And I'm not sure how Google's going to make money off a self-driving steamroller because those things don't stop for happy hour. But wouldn't that be great if your Google car says to you, you know what? Traffic is an absolute nightmare. Here's a place with 50% off appetizers for happy hour. Stop in. 
And I think that's what they want to do. It's certainly what I want them to do. Self-driving cars, baby. They're a-coming.